Hello, I'm Ms. Ruth Lamington, Associate Professor, Faculty of Nursing, Assam Downtown University. So I'll be discussing about the mechanism of labor. Here, the definition of the mechanism of labor says that uh, it is a series of events that takes place on the genital organs in an effort to expel the viable products of conception out of the womb through the vagina into the outer world. There are some principles of mechanism of labor. First point, descent takes place throughout labor. Number two, whichever part leads and the first meets the pelvic floor will rotate forward until it comes under the symphysis pubis. Third, whatever part emerge from the pelvis will pivot around the pubic bone. There are six criteria of the mechanism of labor. The lie is longitudinal. The presentation is cephalic. The position is right or left occipital anterior. The attitude is one of the good flexion. The denominator is the occiput. The presenting part is the posterior part of the anterior parietal bone. Some of the principal movements in the mechanism of labor, or we can say the steps of the movement of the head of the fetus. First point, descent, engagement, neck flexion, internal rotations, crowning, extension of the presenting part, restitution, internal rotations, and lateral flexion. First point, descent. Here, in the primary gravida, descent takes place likely to be from 38 weeks of gestation onwards. In multigravida women, it may not occur until labor is established. As the head descends, it moves downwards to the pelvic brim in either the left or right occipital transverse position. Here in descent, the baby descends through the pelvic inlet towards the pelvic floor, and descent occurs due to the uterine contractions, amniotic fluid pressure, abdominal muscle contraction. Next step is engagement. Engagement occurs when the largest diameter of the fetal head fits into the largest diameter of the maternal pelvis. As the fetal head engages, the head moves towards the pelvic brim in either the left or right occipital transverse position. This allows the widest part of the fetal head to fit through the widest part of the pelvic inlet. Engagement is identified by abdominal palpations where the fetal head is three-fifth palpable or less. Flexion. As the fetal head comes into contact with the pelvic floor, cervical flexion occurs. This allows the presenting part of the fetus to be suboccipital pragmatic. In this position, the fetal skull has a smaller di diameter which assists passage through the pelvis. Internal rotation of the head. With its maternal contractions, the fetal head pushes down on the pelvic floor. A total of 90 degrees rotations to the occipital anterior position to lie under the subpubic arc. Crowning. When the widest diameter of the pelvic head successfully negotiates through the narrowest part of the maternal bony pelvis, the fetal head is considered to be crowning. This is clinically evident when the head visible at the vulva and no longer retreats within the contractions. 
Complete delivery of the head is now imminent and often the woman who has been pushing is encouraged to pant so that the head is born with control. Extension of the presenting part. The occiput slips beneath the suprapubic arc as the head extends and the nape of the neck is pivoting against the arc. Restitution The head externally rotates to face the right or left medial thigh of the mother. Here because of the shoulder at the point of the head being delivered are only just reaching the pelvic floor. They are often still negotiating the pelvic outlet and the fetus may naturally align its head with the shoulders. This is called restitution. And visually, you may see the head externally rotating to face the right and left medial thigh of the mother. Internal rotations. During the next contractions, the shoulders having reached the pelvic floor, evidence of this movement inside can be visualized by seeing the head externally rotating as the fetus keeps its spine aligned. You can see in the picture there. As the same line, the shoulders are rotating from a transverse position to an anterior posterior position. This is realignment of the shoulder with the head, which is called as restitution. Delivery of the shoulders and body. Downward traction by the healthcare professional will assist the delivery of the anterior shoulder below the suprapubic arc. This is followed by downward traction assisting the delivery of the posterior shoulder. The fetal body will be delivered by the contractions. The healthcare professional's role is only to assist safe negotiations of this last stage. So with the downward traction from the picture you can see the anterior shoulder is delivered and with the upward traction The posterior, the, the posterior shoulder is delivered. And here at the last picture you can see the trunk or the body of the fetus is delivered by lateral flexion. So that is all about the mechanism of labor or the steps of the birth of the fetus. Thank you.